Today I'm going to show you how you can easily, in just a couple of minutes, create a cool wiggly animated text effect in Adobe After Effects just like this. Hey what's going on guys, my name is Peter Sorellis, I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada, I specialize in sports events and commercial work, and today I'm going to show you how to create the wiggly animated text effect that I just showed you in Adobe After Effects. This is super easy, in a couple of minutes, even if you have not touched After Effects before, you will have this down. So without further ado, let's jump into the program. So let's go up here to our text tool and we're going to type the name of the player from that video. So I'm gonna type that in and now we have his name. We'll come to the align tab here and we will center it so the name is right in the middle. And now we're going to go to the name and let's rename this to Javante Brown Red. And now we're going to hit Command D to duplicate that. We're going to call this one at the top here, Yellow. And that means that we're going to change this to Yellow. So let's turn off the red text layer and we'll just select this one and then we're going to come down to the character tab and we're going to make this into a nice yellow color something like this looks pretty good so we'll click OK and now we have this yellow text layer we'll turn the red layer back on we'll select it and then you go one two three frames down and one two three to the left and then we have this kind of drop shadow looking effect which I like now to finish this off we're going to come to the red layer we'll hit control and space to bring up our FX console. If you don't have this plugin, go get it. Otherwise you can use the effect tab just over here. And we're going to search for the drop shadow effect. You add that and now our text effect is finished off. This is how we want our text to look, but we haven't animated anything yet. So we need to get into that. First, let's select both of these layers and we're going to hit shift command C and pre-compose it. And we'll just call this title. Now we're going to create a new solid. So you can go layer, new solid or command Y. And we'll just make a black solid. And we're going to add an effect to this black solid called fractal noise. So we'll write fractal noise and then we get this cloudy looking thing. So the way that this fractal noise moves is going to influence how the text moves. So we need to animate this cloudy thing so that over time it starts to look different because right now it's static. So we're going to come to evolution and go under evolution options. And we have this option called random seed. As you move the random seed around, it starts to change. So we're going to animate this property so that it constantly changes. We'll hold our option key if you're on a Mac or Alt on a PC and left click. And that lets us write in some code. We can use expressions to animate how this moves. So we're going to write time times, which is shift and then eight to get that little star icon, 10. And now when we play this back, you can see that we have this little animating fractal noise thing. But now we need to apply this fractal noise on the black solid to the title. So we're gonna first turn off this black solid and actually let's rename this to fractal noise just so we know what we're working with here. And we'll go back to the title and we're gonna go into the effects panel or use FX console. And we're going to pull up displacement map. Now the displacement map is going to determine how this text effect is animated. And we wanna set it so that the text effect is animated by the fractal noise. So you come up to this displacement map layer and you select fractal noise. And then you select effects and masks. So the displacement map effect recognizes that it's looking for the effects on that fractal noise layer, which is the fractal noise effect. And now this text is going to be displaced by the fractal noise that we created. So if you play it forward, you can see that the text starts to kind of wiggle like this. And now we have the wiggling text effect, which is what we want. Now to go one step further, I also animated this on and animated it off. There's a bunch of ways you can animate stuff on and off in After Effects. If you come to the animation presets tab, there are a whole bunch of text transitions you can animate in, you can animate out, there's blurs, a whole bunch of stuff. But we're just going to do a simple mask for this because this is kind of a goofy, fun animated text effect. So I want to have a goofy, fun, simple animated animation in and out. So we're going to go and grab our pen tool here. And while we have our title layer selected, otherwise it'll draw a shape. We're going to draw a square around our text layer, just like that. Now, while we have the title layer selected, you can click M and that brings up the masks. We're gonna change the color here to something that's a little more visible. Let's go with like a bright blue. And now we're going to click mask path that is going to make sure that as we change this mask over time, it animates and that creates our first keyframe. We're going to right click and then we're going to click toggle hold keyframe. This makes it so that in between your keyframes, you don't have movement where After Effects is essentially creating a linear interpolation from one keyframe to the other. This way, After Effects is going to hold on one value. So now it'll hold on this. When, right when we get to this keyframe, the mask is going to shrink. And that's how we're going to start animating this in. So let's delete this keyframe here. 
And now we're going to open our mask up and we're going to click invert. So now our text is not there. We're gonna animate it to come in. So let's jump forward 10 frames. We're gonna hold command and shift and the right arrow to go forward 10 frames. And then we're going to add another keyframe. And now we're going to move this mask so that it just barely reveals a little bit of the title. That's great. I kind of like it when it cuts off the letters because this is kind of a jittery effect. And I just think it's kind of cool to have it come in this way rather than a traditional typing effect. So let's jump forward another 10 keyframes and we can have this kind of jump to here. You know, maybe 10 keyframes is a little bit far. Let's do just five keyframes. So I'm gonna bump this back a little bit. I'll bump this one back a little bit. Now this is gonna animate on a little bit faster. Let's grab our mask again. We're gonna drag this even more. We've essentially finished masking this on and that looks something like this. Now to animate this out, all we're going to do is take these keyframes. We're going to copy them and we're going to bring them to the end here and we'll paste them wherever we want this to go out. This is basically animating in again, which doesn't really do anything for us. So we actually need to reverse the order of all these keyframes. So let's pull the last one here and pull the first one over. Pull the last one here and pull the first one to the end. And then switch these two. And now we have this cool animation out just by changing the order of our keyframes. So you can see here that we go like this. And if you come to the end, it goes like that and kind of goes away. So if we want to animate this so that the text animates out in the other way, all we need to do is shift our masks over. So let's zoom in here a little bit and we're going to grab this mask and we're just going to move it over a little bit, put it over there, we'll go to the next one and we're just going to move this over to here. And we're just gonna keep doing this. It'll be a fairly quick process of just moving these masks over like so. We're gonna to go to the next keyframe and move this one over like so and we'll go like that and we'll go to the last keyframe and it's totally covered so now if we play this back we have this animation in effect and we have this animation out effect and that is how you can in just a couple of minutes create a really cool easy animated text effect in adobe after effects that simply animates in and animates out if you found this video helpful, then please make sure to subscribe because I release videos like this for videographers, video editors on a regular basis. I also specifically focus on sports videos, lots of tutorials surrounding how to shoot sports videos and event videos. So if that is your jam, then I definitely recommend you stick around. And let me know what you thought of this tutorial. If I missed anything or went over anything too quickly, please let me know in the comments because I do have a habit of just kind of running over stuff a little fast. And I would love to have a discussion with you down there. Anyways, that is going to be it for me. So until next time, peace out. Nice guy with a cold shoulder. You'll be cool, but I don't know you. Wrote a flower and I'm up the potion. Give me superpowers and I won't stop to the bank. Roll on super massive. Big bank for the space chat. A sharp shooter, yeah, Will Smith. Call me Prince Park. Let me freshen up.